What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dummy Wormy. And it was back in April when Warhammer decided to come out here and gaslight the entire audience by retroactively retconning be a female adeptus custody, which goes against years and years of lore. And instead of sitting here and saying, yes, we're just retconning the lore, we're just doing that, they decided that it would be a better idea to gaslight everybody, and then when called out on said gaslight, they decided to go around and block people and shut them up for pointing out that they were gaslighting and treating the audience with disrespect. That was the big controversy there, was the disrespect that Games Workshop was giving to its audience that spends thousands of dollars on their game. Then they decided to double down on this action. Games Workshop and Warhammer doubles down on inclusivity virtue signal, then deletes it. That's right. Then they decided to come out here and put out this mega, mega post with all this stuff, uh, continuing to push the, you know, inclusivity and diversity and stuff like that. And then the edits it out and changes it up to something completely different because they, they were purposely antagonizing the audience and then running away. That's what was going on there. Oh, but we also had writers for Warhammer come out here and say, Horrible, disgusting things like this. Magic the Gathering and Warhammer artist Paul Scott Canva says he wants to crack down and string up the loved ones of people who disagree with him and disagree with the idea of female adeptus custodies, which again goes against years and years of established lore and just ignores the fact that Games Workshop was disrespecting its audience and its player base. Since then, we ended up having Warhammer 40k fan sites decide to attack players and call them all bigots for just not liking the retcon and the way they were being treated by Games Workshop. Well, now we have it. Games Workshop introduces new female adeptus custody into Warhammer 40k and asserts custodies can be any gender. We already knew this was going to come. We already knew this day was going to be here, but they released a new trailer. And I'm just going to play you a little snip above it of the female Adeptus Custody. And my God, is it hideous. Th this is your big reveal was a female Adeptus Custody. But on an official Warhammer community website, Games Workshop revealed Tirith Shiva Pierce, the first three of the long list of honorific names earned fighting for the Emperor has the privilege of being our first portrayal of a female custodian since the recent revelation that custodians can be any gender. The company added, this fact came as a real surprise to many since it wasn't something previously explored. That in and of itself isn't a particularly unusual thing for Warhammer 40k and its lore. There are simply loads of things the Warhammer Studios have never expressly stated whether that's ruling them in or out. And that's fine, okay? I know your guys' lore is very loopy-doopy and things like that. It's very crazy and all kinds of weird. But guess what? You had Sisters of Silence you could have built upon. You have a bunch of people over there. Why didn't you build upon them? They're essentially the female versions of the Adeptus Custodes. They have their own pluses. They have their own benefits over there. But why don't you build on the Sisters of Silence? Oh, because you don't want to. You Because you wanted the Adeptus Custodes. You wanted to make a guard for the Imperium. The guard for the Emperor himself. A female. And then retcon it in. Instead of actually working with the lore you already have. And building up a Sisters of Silence. That, that's what you wanted to do. You wanted one of the bigger groups. One of the more favorable groups. Instead of one of the other characters that already have females all in their ranks. That also fight alongside the Adeptus Custodes. But... Uh, uh, you get the picture there, but but it continues, guys. It continues. From there, Warhammer continued to justify the massive retcon and gaslighting its enthusiasts and hobbyists since the earliest conversations about bringing in Horus Heresy to the tabletop and Black Library Fiction. The exact nature of the custodians has been under discussion. After all, their origins and means of creation, unlike, for example, the Legionist Adeptus Astartes, are shrouded in mystery. A significant advantage to this portrayal is that it helps us to understand a common misconception that the Custodes are just bigger, better space marines. Well, they are just bigger, better space marines. They're some of the best, but they're also rumored to have been made with DNA from the Emperor himself and just parts of the Emperor, beings of the Emperor prime creations of the emperor again that's rumor that's speculation it is what it is 
but that is what they thought it was for the longest time until now when you guys decided to gaslight and treat your audience like garbage. They aren't. Space Marines were made through industrialized ritual to be mass-produced brute force weapons of conquest and even 10,000 years after their creation, draped in self-assigned glory, that's still true of them at their core. Games Workshop stated each custodian, on their other hand, is unique, painstakingly made through peerless craft and arcane artifice. Their physique, their physic, their very soul is a bespoke instrument of the emperor they unequivocally serve. Wait a minute, so they're, you're even admitting they're all pieces of the emperor himself. They're all parts of the emperor himself. The emperor is a dude. So then why are you making a female adeptus custody? Oh, because you, 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 you just want to, instead of actually working on one of your other female branches, you, you wanted to take one of the more popular branches and, you know, the biggest, baddest of space marines out there and say that a woman can be the big bad boss as well. Instead of, you know, Sisters of Silence that are freaking badasses. Okay. We know a lot of space marines, relatively speaking, the company declared, but there is still so much we don't know about custodians, particularly in Warhammer 40k, and their recruitment process is the least of these mysteries. They were taken from the sons of the high houses and made by the emperor himself. That is what we know of the Adeptus custodians, and that's all we ever needed to know. They were dudes. Their counterparts, the Sisters of Silence, were all females. They worked hand in hand. That is how it was supposed to be. But instead of going with that, they decided to virtue signal the whole time, gaslight the audience, and treat them like garbage. The company then listed a number of questions. What exactly are they up to in the 41st millennium? What was their motive for joining the Indonymous Crusade? What do they really think of Gilliman? What secret weapons do they have sequestered away in their armory vaults on Terra? What does loyalty mean in a galaxy where the master you failed is silent and you despise what his empire has become? Yeah, these are all good questions. These are all good things to explore with the Adeptus Custodes. Why don't you do that alongside the Sisters of Silence? Oh, because you didn't want to. Finally, Games Workshop declared... We sometimes call these gaps, and they are quite intentional. They let you as collectors, players, and fans fill the spaces with your own characters, stories, and narratives, making the Warhammer hobby truly yours. They also allow us to revisit factions through miniatures, stories, and animations, and offer something new and interesting. Imagine how sad it would be if we ever said, and that's it, that's everything you'll ever see in this army. No new models ever. That'd be rubbish, the company concluded. That's fine. Go in there and play around. You allowed the lore to do that. But you have frameworks of the lore. You have things that the lore is already based around. And yeah, the lore's all made that, hey, this could be this, this could be that. You don't know for sure. That's how the lore was crafted. Heck, we didn't know for sure, honestly, if there was a female Adeptus Custody. But now we're confirming it. We're making it a thing. We're saying, yes, it was a thing. Yes, there are female Adeptus Custodes. And here she is. Here we go, guys. Here's your new female character, Warhammer Bros. Your protocols require you to look me in the eye as you deny our request for reinforcements. I am here as the Emperor's voice to command you to obedience. You will obey it. Do I can't. I can't, I can't look at that with a straight face. It, it is 100% ma'am. It is 100% ma'am right here. We, we just have to play this last little bit. You will obey it. Do your pro Come on. You don't think this is going to get clowned on? You don't think this is going to get backlash? They hated it when you try to force it in the first time. You don't think this is not going to get backlash as well as you firmly stamp down that yes, there are such a thing as female Adeptus Custodes and honestly going against your own lore in which things aren't always what they seem. Things could be, you know, misremembered, misconstrued, purposely false, purposely this. No, you're firmly stamping down that yes, female Adeptus Custodes exist. Going against how you have crafted the lore thus far, going against everything, and then on top of that, further 
disrespecting your audience and continuing to double, triple, quadruple down on an idea that was already disdained months ago when you tried to do it the first time. Welcome to the modern day games workshop where they're gonna put it's ma'am in the freaking game and force you to accept it. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.